Hi guys and welcome back to Jolly Scarecrows and you'll meet Ollie and today we are doing a Yu-Gi-Oh box opening we're technically opening a Yu-Gi-Oh Egyptian God deck the Egyptian God deck and see if any of the artworks have changed and what's in the deck as well as well as um, we'll be opening a something else and something else Yu-Gi-Oh related in the video stay tuned for that that it was quite fun to open that actually um, we live stream this over on Twitch, and so if you want to check out our live streams, link down below. Basically, we live stream Pokemon pack openings, Yu Gi Oh!, Jewel Links, Nexus, extra, etc. I try to live stream every day, but it doesn't always happen. It's mostly uh, four times a week, but I try to live stream every day. So, like I said, link down below if you want to check out our live streams. Anyway, should we just get into this video? Uh, yeah, I think I'll be opening the Egyptian God deck, Obelisk the Tormentor, who came out this year. Um, it's got the... Now, there it comes with a playmat. I probably won't be able to show the whole playmat. Um, we'll see. But, yeah, let's open this and see what we get. Let's see what we get. What is it? See what the cards look like. What, what artwork they've changed and that. Oh, it's this annoying um, way they've done. I hate this. I don't know why they do that. To put this little bit of cardboard right there. It doesn't make sense to me. So we've got the, the mat here. So let's stretch it out. So you what, we'll switch to cam. And I will open it up. So, ooh, upside down. There's the map. Uh, yeah. It's weird they've double printed. Oh, yeah, it's Slifer and Obelisk. So, that's pretty good. Slifer and Obelisk. And then, of course, in the back, it gives you tips on how to do it. Um, and all that. So, yeah. I'm um, pretty cool. Uh, uh play mat play mat next uh what have we got now we need to try and get this this deck out uh somehow somehow there we go Go out, and it hasn't got the new artwork. I don't think. No, it hasn't got the new artwork with this tor obelisk the tormentor. So no, no new artwork. Um, it's got a card in the back. The scan. Uh, I don't know what that means. Scan. Oh, scan to learn the basics. Oh, I see. You scan to learn how to play it. Yeah, I suppose. I missed the little booklets, really. The booklets were really cool. But, eh. Can't do that. So, let's open this. And see if we can open it. I believe, yes, we can. Uh, there it is. Uh, sorry, I, I can't go any closer. But yeah, there's Obelisk the Tormentor. Uh, Soul cro uh, Crossing. Uh, fate Fist First of Fate. Maybe go a bit further away, maybe. Yeah. Divine Evolution. Level Resist Wall. Uh, Angel Zero One. Mare Mare, Harpy's Feather Duster, what's really cool to have, Nimble Monga, I know there's three in here, and Banzu Soul Eater, as there's three, it looks like they, they shuffle the deck, ah, maybe not, I don't know, Banzu the Soul Eater, Cyber Dragon, yeah, Nimble Monga, Monga Nimble Monga, Harden uh, Armed Dragon, what's really cool, because it can act as an Armed Dragon, got Super Nimble Mag, Mega hamster was quite hilarious. 
Evil Swarm. Uh, I know there's two Evil Swarms in this. Mandrago. Uh, Gore. Phantom Saber Tiger. And we've got two of those. Evil Swarm Salamander. Ra's Disciple. And we've got three of those. I know that. Unmasked Dragon. Which is actually really cool. I, I do like the look of this card. And Nimble Beaver. Condiment Witch. What is actually a really, really cool card. Um, because you can get um, level 4 Fairy Monster from your deck. You can special summon level 4 Fairy Monster from your deck. That, that's pretty cool. We've got some of these strong monsters. Um, Giz, Gizmet. You card the fest, festive fox of Fet Frank's Delude. I can't say it, sorry, but I can't say it. But it's a fox card. Next, we've got um, the Fanged Fortress card. So it's a wolf. Brain Control, a old classic. Monster Reborn. A different Dimension Capsule, what's quite old. A Parvarus, Double Summon. Forbidden Lance. Uh, forbidden chance, forbidden lance, forbidden dress, supply squad, monarchs, stormfall, call of the haunted, cloning, and instead of mirror force, we've got drowning mirror force. And then we've got three cards here. So we've got something, of course, um, talking about dual links. And then this one, talking about the other game, Legacy of the Duelist. And, and then talking about. King's Call, if you aren't sure, we did a live stream on King's Call. If you're watching this on YouTube, link down below. Yeah, we did a live stream on uh, King's Call, opening King's Call cards. So that was quite um quite good. Yeah. Oh, and then Egyptian God there. So this is the Egyptian God deck. Um, What's... And what we will, we might uh, try and use um, in in dueling on dueling Nexus. And see how how well it does. But yeah, that's the Egyptian God deck. So I decided to get a a a Funko Pop. I got Yugi Moto. <laughs> I thought, why not go for it? They, that I, I was really wanted a Naruto. If you don't know what Naruto is, it's it's really cool anime. But if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, you probably know Naruto. I was hoping to get one of those, but they didn't have any of those. And they had other animes I wasn't a big fan of. So it was this Joey, or I believe, um, oh, what was it? I think it was Blue Eyes. Guys, white dragon. So I got Yugi Moto. Um, why not? Uh, so let's open this and see what we get. I know some people um, say, "Do not take them out of the box; they're collectible." But uh, I, I want to. If it wants to come out. There we go. There we go. We got him. Uh, it's a different type of uh, Funko Pop. So I've been looking online. They they have like a you can get a plastic bit at the for the bottom, but this one doesn't have that. But yeah, Yugi Moto here. With some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's no nothing out of the bottom. I wish they would like put little pictures of I don't know, um, a dark magician or something just for, just for the fun of it. But understandable, they can't really do that. But yeah, that, that was uh, I I thought why not buy this? Pretty good. Pretty looks pretty good. Uh, the hair in the back. Yeah, his head moves all the way round. So, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. Got my first uh, Funko Pop. Might get another one in the future. We'll see. Depends on the prices. Because some of them can be really expensive. 
So I'm not like buying expensive ones. But this cost me like £10. So I thought, yeah, that was quite good. Yeah, so I've got Yugi Moto. Quite happy. <laughs> uh, comment what you think down below.